The Cummins Electronic Road Speed Governor controls how fast your vehicle travels. This feature is programmed to a vehicle speed chosen by your fleet to maximize fleet safety and increase fuel economy. For example, if a fleet sets the road speed governor to 65, that's going to increase fuel economy compared to a governor set to 70 miles per hour. A good rule of thumb is that at interstate speeds, every one mile per hour you reduce the vehicle speed, you'll get a tenth of a mile per gallon increase in fuel economy. The road speed governor limits your maximum vehicle speed. The road speed governor directly affects the maximum speeds that you can achieve. In top gear, if your engine achieves a certain road speed and feels like you don't have more power to accelerate, you are most likely traveling at the vehicle's governed maximum speed. In his job, Jason Owens talks to lots of drivers and gets a chance to address some of their concerns. One opinion he sometimes hears is that road speed doesn't affect fuel economy. Road speed absolutely affects fuel economy, and in a negative way. As an example, if you hold your hand out your window while you're traveling at both low and high speeds, you'll notice a significant difference in the amount of resistance on your hand. Your truck has to overcome that same amount of resistance at high speeds. As a rule of thumb, at speeds over 55 miles per hour, for each mile per hour faster you travel, your fuel economy reduces by a tenth of a mile per gallon. In other words, the difference between driving a truck 65 miles per hour and 75 miles per hour can be as much as one mile per gallon. With today's fuel prices, that equates to approximately $7,000 per year per truck. Here's a knowledge check. True or false? The road speed governor limits the vehicle's maximum road speed. The answer is true. The fleet can set the road speed governor to allow a specified maximum vehicle speed.